Have you ever stopped to think about how the United States manages to raise and process over 73 million pigs each year? Across the country, enormous barns hum with life. Equipped with smart sensors, automated feeding lines, and eco-friendly waste recycling systems. In sprawling processing facilities, robotic cutters, conveyor networks, and precision engineering turn these animals into pork products enjoyed not just by Americans, but by consumers from Japan to Mexico. This isn't ordinary farming. It's a highly sophisticated, industrialized network that powers one of the largest food systems on Earth. Welcome to AgroLand USA, where we explore the innovation driving modern agriculture. In this episode, we'll uncover how America's pig industry has become a global leader, from advanced genetics and artificial insemination to climate-controlled nurseries and humane automation at processing plants. Every stage is engineered for efficiency, safety, and consistency. But beyond the technology lies a deeper question. How sustainable and ethical is this massive system shaping the future of food? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to join us for more eye-opening journeys inside the world of modern farming. The U.S. pork industry runs on a scale that few countries in the world can match. Across the nation, more than 63,000 pig farms operate in harmony. From small, family-run farms to massive industrial facilities that each hold tens of thousands of animals. Altogether, these farms maintain nearly 73 million pigs, securing America's position as one of the leading pork producers on the planet. The heart of production beats strongest in a handful of key states. Iowa leads the charge with over 23 million pigs raised across roughly 5,400 farms, representing nearly one-third of the country's total. Minnesota and North Carolina follow closely behind forming the backbone of the pork belt. While some smaller farms in regions like Texas still raise pigs through free-range or semi-traditional methods, the Midwest's industrialized systems dominate, powered by automation, climate control, and precision feeding technology. When it comes to consumption, Americans enjoy about three-quarters of their own pork, while the rest, roughly 24%, is exported to major markets such as Japan, Mexico, and China. This blend of strong domestic appetite, high-tech efficiency, and global reach makes U.S. pork not just an agricultural product, but a symbol of modern food production at scale. Behind America's thriving pork industry lies a foundation built on genetics and innovation. Modern pig breeding has evolved far beyond traditional selection, becoming a high-tech process where data, DNA, and demand shape the future of every herd. Farmers today make decisions guided not just by experience, but by science. Balancing growth efficiency, meat quality, and market trends to create the ideal pig. At the core of U.S. production stands the Yorkshire breed, often called the engine of modern swine farming. Accounting for nearly 70% of breeding stock, Yorkshires are known for their fast growth, lean carcasses, up to 60% lean meat, and adaptability to intensive environments. Their efficiency in feed conversion and uniformity makes them the backbone of large-scale pork operations focused on reliability and volume. On the premium side, the Berkshire pig holds a special place. Though smaller in numbers, it's celebrated for its rich marbling, tenderness, and distinct flavor, earning a 20-30% price premium on high-end markets and luxury menus worldwide. The widespread use of artificial insemination has revolutionized this field, allowing farmers to refine traits like disease resistance, growth rate, and meat texture with precision never before possible. Yet, this scientific progress raises important questions. 
does focusing too narrowly on specific traits risk eroding genetic diversity and long-term resilience? So what do you think? Can artificial insemination truly balance productivity and sustainability? Drop your opinion below, and if you're passionate about the science behind modern agriculture, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories from AgroLand USA. On modern American pig farms, reproduction runs like clockwork. A precise cycle engineered to maximize productivity while maintaining animal welfare. Each sow carries her litter for about 114 days, and when farrowing begins, piglets arrive roughly every 15 minutes. In today's climate-controlled facilities, digital monitoring systems track every birth, ensuring both mother and newborns receive immediate care from trained staff. Newborn piglets are among the most vulnerable stages in swine production. Their tiny bodies lose heat quickly, and cold stress remains one of the top causes of early mortality, claiming millions each year. To prevent this, Farrowing pens are kept at a stable 24 to 25 degrees Celsius, 75 to 77 degrees Celsius, using heating pads, infrared lamps, and insulated flooring. Piglets nurse within minutes of birth, while sows are given energy-rich diets to sustain milk production for large, fast-growing litters. Weaning methods differ depending on farm size and goals. Commercial operations typically wean piglets at around 21 days, allowing sows to return to breeding sooner and boosting yearly productivity. Meanwhile, small-scale or specialty farms may extend weaning to five or six weeks, giving piglets extra time to build immunity, trading efficiency for long-term health. This delicate balance between industrial precision and ethical care defines U.S. pig farming today. It's a system constantly walking the line between efficiency, compassion, and sustainability, as producers strive to feed a growing world while respecting the lives that make it possible. In the world of U.S. pig farming, feed is king, representing nearly three-quarters of all production costs. Because of this, Managing feed isn't just about feeding pigs. It's a sophisticated blend of science, technology, and economics. The foundation of every diet is built around two agricultural giants, corn and soybeans. Corn provides vital energy, while soy delivers high-quality protein, together forming the perfect balance for growth, muscle development, and overall herd health. To sustain this enormous demand, modern farms depend on towering silos, automatic mixers, and computerized feeding systems. Smart sensors monitor each pen, tracking exactly how much the pigs eat and automatically adjusting rations based on age, weight, and growth stage. This ensures precise nutrition, improves feed efficiency, and cuts waste. On massive integrated farms, many producers even grow, grind, and blend their own feed, securing supply stability and shielding themselves from volatile grain markets. The scale is astonishing. Millions of pigs consume tons of feed daily. Even a 10-cent rise in corn prices can ripple across the entire industry, squeezing profits overnight. To manage this, Farms are turning toward precision nutrition programs, experimenting with alternative ingredients, and diversifying crop sources. Feeding pigs may seem simple, but it's the economic heart of modern swine production, a constant balancing act between biology, business, and sustainability. Were you surprised to learn that feed makes up 75% of pig farming costs? Do you think it's smarter for farmers to grow their own grain or buy from suppliers? Share your thoughts below. I'd love to hear your take. Modern American pig farms are no longer just barns. They're fully integrated technology hubs built to maximize precision, welfare, and efficiency. Across the country, 
Traditional farming has evolved into a system where computers and sensors oversee nearly every aspect of life inside the barn. Automated feeders dispense customized rations based on growth stage, while digital trackers monitor movement, appetite, and weight gain in real time, instantly alerting farmers to any early signs of illness or stress. The barns themselves are feats of engineering. Climate-controlled housing keeps temperatures stable through every season, and advanced ventilation systems ensure clean airflow and prevent ammonia buildup. Slatted flooring allows manure to fall into underground channels, reducing labor and maintaining cleaner, safer conditions for both animals and workers. Waste management has also become a high-tech environmental solution. Automated slurry systems and anaerobic digesters now convert manure into compost or renewable biogas, helping power farm operations and reducing emissions. Though installations can cost between $20,000 and $50,000, they cut manual labor by up to 40% and significantly improve environmental performance. Yet, these innovations bring a paradox. While technology has made farming faster, cleaner, and more profitable, it also strengthens intensive confinement models, fueling debates about sustainability, ethics, and how far industrial agriculture should go in pursuit of efficiency. What's your take? Should technology continue pushing pig farming toward total automation? Or should we slow down to protect animal welfare and natural balance? Share your thoughts below. I'd love to hear your perspective. When pigs reach market weight, the journey to the processing plant becomes one of the most delicate stages in the entire production chain. Transportation doesn't just move animals, it directly impacts their welfare, health, and even the quality of the meat that ends up on your plate. In the U.S., this stage is tightly regulated under USDA animal welfare standards, which set strict rules for travel time, temperature control, and loading density. Modern farms use specialized climate-controlled trucks that maintain airflow and prevent overheating, a leading cause of stress during transport. Ramps are built with gentle slopes to reduce slipping, and animals are given enough space to stand comfortably and balance naturally. For long trips, sometimes lasting up to 24 hours, drivers must schedule rest stops for hydration and recovery. Even with these safeguards, transport remains the most stressful moment in a pig's life. Prolonged travel can lead to fatigue, weight loss, and higher mortality rates, while overcrowding can trigger injuries and stress-related meat defects like PSE, pale, soft, exudative, pork, a major quality concern. For producers, finding the balance between efficiency and empathy is both an ethical and economic challenge. After all, healthy, calm animals always yield better results on the farm and on the plate. What's your opinion? Would you choose faster transport with more stress or slower, safer travel that protects animal welfare? Drop your thoughts below. I'd love to hear your perspective. When pigs reach the processing plant, their journey enters its final and most tightly controlled stage. A combination of precision engineering, humane handling, and rigorous food safety oversight. Under strict USDA regulations, pigs are first rendered unconscious through CO2 chambers or electric stunning, ensuring they experience no pain or distress. This process represents one of the most carefully monitored aspects of modern meat production. Once the animals are fully insensible, the inspection and processing sequence begins. Federal inspectors and AI-assisted imaging systems examine each carcass for signs of illness, contamination, or injury. Approved carcasses then move through a highly automated line where they are bled, scalded, dehaired, and split into large primal sections, hams, shoulders, 
loins, and ribs, ready for further refinement. From here, automation and craftsmanship work hand in hand. Robotic cutters and conveyor systems perform precision slicing, while experienced butchers handle the tasks that demand careful judgment. This combination minimizes inconsistency, improves yield, and reduces repetitive strain on workers. The process concludes in climate-controlled packaging zones, where cuts are vacuum-sealed, labeled, and temperature-tracked to preserve freshness. Every stage operates under HACCP, Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points, protocols, a global benchmark for food safety that identifies and prevents contamination risks before they occur. The outcome is a system so efficient it can process thousands of pigs daily, delivering safe, traceable, and premium quality pork to supermarkets and export markets around the world. What's your view on automation in food production? Does it make the system safer, or does it take too much human touch out of the process? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your perspective. The U.S. pork sector is far more than just an agricultural enterprise. It's a $20 billion global powerhouse that feeds millions and fuels trade across continents. Each year, over 73 million pigs are raised nationwide, making the United States responsible for nearly one-fifth of the world's total pork production. This scale makes it both a pillar of domestic food security and a major player in international commerce. At home, Americans consume roughly three-quarters of all pork produced, while the remaining 24% flows abroad to key markets such as Japan, Mexico, and China. These exports are not just economic opportunities, they're lifelines that connect farmers to global demand. Japan consistently pays top prices for premium cuts, while China's consumption surges whenever local outbreaks or supply shortages occur. However, this same dependence makes the industry vulnerable to trade tensions, tariffs, and disease outbreaks that can halt exports overnight. Market segmentation mirrors the diversity of consumer demand. Yorkshire pork dominates the mainstream grocery and fast food sectors, valued for consistency and affordability. Meanwhile, Berkshire pork, known for its rich marbling and tenderness, serves the luxury market, often selling at 20-30% higher prices in high-end restaurants and specialty stores. But with global reach comes global risk. The industry's reliance on international trade underscores a growing challenge. How to maintain stability, sustainability, and resilience in a market that moves as fast as the world's appetite for meat. The story of American pig farming is a testament to scale, innovation, and global reach. From cutting-edge genetics and automated feeding systems to climate-controlled barns and precision processing plants, technology has transformed U.S. pork into one of the most efficient and trusted food systems in the world. Yet, even with all this progress, new challenges are emerging. How can the industry keep expanding while tackling the growing concerns of sustainability, animal welfare, and international trade risks? As consumers, we stand at a crossroads. Do we continue to support large-scale production for its affordability and global supply stability? Or do we shift toward smaller, ethical, and flavor-focused farms that prioritize transparency and animal well-being? The answer may shape not just the future of pork, but the future of food itself. What do you think the next chapter of pork production should look like? Should the focus be on technology and volume, or ethics and sustainability? Share your perspective in the comments below. And if you enjoy exploring how modern agriculture shapes our world, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to join our next deep dive into the heart of global farming.